Hello, all. All right, so this week we're going to talk about a crucial kind of communication that every single one of you, um, if you're not, well, you're all using it right now. All right, and that's actually the reason that brought this up is um, because a lot of a lot of us we've never actually gone through the process of learning how to email, and it, it is the main way that our society communicates now. Especially in the situation that we're in right now, we're we're left where we have to communicate electronically, and email is the fastest, easiest way to do that. Um, many of you, once you leave high school, this will continue to be a big part of your life. Um, if you end end up in the business world, this is how things get done through email and a lot of people, okay, and I've talked to a lot of my colleagues and peers, a lot of professionals, adults, do not know how to do this properly and it leads to miscommunications and it leads to misunderstandings. So a well thought out professional email can go a long way, especially, especially if you want something. Okay, so if you're asking your teachers, like, hey, can you um, grade this late assignment? I'm gonna be a little bit more likely to oblige you or to give in to your request if you have phrase that in a professional way. All right, so let, let's just talk about how, how we make this happen, all right? So I'm gonna compose. All right, I'm actually gonna send this to Miss Beeler um, because uh, she's the one that kind of gave me the idea for this. That she's doing this with her freshman. Um, and so I'm gonna write this as a thank you, all right? Um, you can send this to anybody that you would like, okay? Um, it doesn't have to be to me. It can be to Miss McMaster if you, if you have a question about her class or anybody, um, friend. Um, but just make sure that you carbon copy me on it, okay? So I'm doing this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna put Mr. Dan's on this, and I'm also gonna put Mr. Jackson on this. Um, so carbon copying is is uh, is just something that we do. Uh, usually, if, if as you get into the professional world, um, CCing somebody can be a very passive aggressive way of like. I'm going to be CCing your boss on this because you're an idiot. All right. Um, that's, that's, it's got its own language and you'll find that out one day. The blind carbon copy is, uh, is another tool. And that's, um, if I blind carbon copy somebody on this, so I'm going to put uh, Mr. Kelly on this just to show you how it works. Um, this person will also receive this email, but none of these three people will see it. Okay, that, that's the purpose of the blind carbon copy. And so that's kind of a, a CYA thing. Let's cover your tush. All right. Um, when, if you're like, if you're sending like a sensitive email and you want to like clue somebody in, but you don't want everyone to know about it, that's what you use that for. All right. Um, you're always going to start your email with a salutation. All right. Um, hello. All right. Um, Mrs. Beeler and I are colleagues. So it would be appropriate for me to call her by her first name. I'm just going to go ahead and throw this out here, guys, that you should use whatever um, address that you would use that person, if, that, that, with that person in person, all right? Very few of you, actually none of you, will call me Dan, okay? That's, that's you know, you don't know me like that, all right? Um, so, it, it, especially in an email, it, it's usually good to use a title, all right? If I was sending this to, uh, you know, Mr. Darga, all right, I would do it as such, okay? It would be Mr. Darga. Okay, because he's my boss, he's the boss of bosses. Okay, so I'm, I would use a title. So if you're doing a teacher, please don't use their first name. It, it sometimes comes off as inappropriate. Um, and, and less like, you know, I have a nephew in the school. If my nephew would want to say Uncle Danny, then that would probably be appropriate. Otherwise, please use their title. And we are colleagues, so I will use her first name. All right. Um, I am writing to thank you for the wonderful idea of teaching our children how to write an email. Uh, <laughs> this task, uh, this crucial skill um, is painfully lacking in our student population and that has been on full display as we have moved to remote learning. And thank you. Um, I am truly fortunate to have such a wonderful colleague. All right, you guys are gonna notice I misspelled a ton of things in there.
okay? All right, and actually, I sent down, I sent an email to Miss Beeler the other day, and, and I had a boatload of spelling errors in it, okay? So, especially, I'll, I'm going to tell you this. If you're sending this to somebody that you don't communicate with regularly, all right, if, uh, if you're sending it to somebody, a teacher, okay, always, always double check for spelling and grammar issues, okay? I, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but people are judging you all the time, every day. Okay, just like when you show up, if you show up to school and you are in baggy sweatpants and like, you know, like, yeah, you, your, your face is dirty. Okay, your shoes are untied. Okay, we're going to say like, all right, Joe doesn't care about school. All right, that's the same thing with your, your grammar and your punctuation. If there's spelling errors and stuff in there, it's going to communicate to your reader that you really don't care that much about this message. Okay. And this is the only thing that they have to judge you. They don't have your tone of voice to look at. They don't have that ability to look you in the eye. So this is what they're going. So I'm, I'm always, okay. It's always a good idea to read through an email before you push send. Okay. And some people actually don't even, they don't even put the, the address person in yet until they're ready to hit it because they don't want to accidentally send it. So, okay. So I am ready to thank you for the wonderful idea of teaching our, I'm going to change this to students. It just sounds more professional. Students, how to write an email. Okay. Um, one thing I want you guys to notice, okay, pronoun I, it is not this. Okay. It is, it's just, it's just lazy. Okay. That's all there is to it. Um, it, it's, it's one stroke of a keypad. Even if you're typing from your phone, it is not that hard to capitalize it. Just do it. Okay. I'm writing to thank you again. Pronoun you, not please. It's two letters, folks. It, they go a far, long way. Write the whole word. It makes a difference. Again, it's just showing effort. I'm writing, I'm writing to thank you for your, the wonderful idea of teaching our students how to write an email. This crucial skill is painfully lacking in our student population, and that has been on full display. I think actually with this, that here, I don't need this comma. Um, this is getting into a little bit of a technical of a writing thing. I'm going to take it out. All right. Um, yeah, because this, I wouldn't want that to stand alone as its own sentence. This is, this is now getting, um, uh, a little, little technical. So here's, here's the thing. If I, if I could change this, that has been, yeah, that's fine. That has been on full display as we have moved to remote learning. And I actually like that better. I think that that, that's a little bit stronger without that there. I'm sorry, little grammar nerd moment. That has been on full display as we have moved to remote learning. Okay. Again, thank you. Let me put a semicolon in here. Why not? Because I'm fancy like that. All right. And the reason I like that too is I can end this with a exclamation point. All right. Exclamation point. That's kind of a funny thing there. Again, thank you. I am truly fortunate to have such a wonderful colleague. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and throw this out here, guys. You don't need to put it sincerely. That's that's kind of archaic. Um, it, it's not, but you should have a signature of some sort. Now, there's, there's one thing I'm going to show you with this. All right. Some of you in middle school, for whatever reason you did this, okay, you made a signature and it still says um, Joe Blow, Allen Park Middle School student, and it's in lime green because that was your favorite cover color when you were 13. Okay, guys, please change it. Okay, so what you gotta do is is gonna go ahead and click this gear here. All right, settings. We're gonna go to settings. I'm gonna close this down real quick. As you scroll down, there's all sorts of stuff in here, guys. I I don't know. It, the one that we're looking for is right here, though. Some of you guys might have no signature, and that's fine. I'll tell you, this is just just if you have no signature, just make sure you always close off with your name. All right. Um. If you're sending this to somebody that you don't know, like say you're sending this to a college or uh, something else, you might want to put, you know, Allen Park High School, something like that. Okay. But this is where I would just double check. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that this should just be straight 12 point black font. Okay. Nothing fancy. All right. I mean, I guess if you want to put a little bit of color in there, that's fine. Um, I, it's not my favorite though, but I would just tell you guys double check this before you send your email because I think some of you have a signature that you have, are un, unaware of. Okay. So double check that. All right. So now that I've done that, I've looked, I'm again, I'm going to look it over. All right. And I'm ready to send. I don't know if this, oh, I can schedule that. Fascinating. Okay. But I'm just going to click send. Boom. There we go. And it's away. All right, guys. Uh, so that's how you, uh, that's how you write an email. All right. Um, do it better because the world is judging you. All right. Um, and, uh,
especially this this crisis has kind of put this uh, on full display of something that is an essential skill. All right, guys, thanks for taking the time for uh, for watching this, and um, I'll see you all this week.